Hi there, welcome to my channel. In this video, you will learn about vectors in a Cartesian plane. 4.5 Vectors in Cartesian plane. Now, first, let's see what is unit vector. A unit vector is a vector whose magnitude is one unit. Remember, a unit vector is a vector with magnitude 1 unit. A unit vector that is parallel to x-axis is denoted by I vector. For example, let's say we have a vector moving to the right parallel to x-axis magnitude 1 unit. Therefore, it is I vector. If it is moving to the left hand side, then it is written as negative i vector. While a unit vector that is parallel to y axis is denoted by j vector. For example, okay, we have a vector with magnitude 1 unit parallel to y axis and moving up. Therefore, it is written as j vector. If the same vector going down, then it is written as negative j. Vectors in a Cartesian plane can be expressed as xi plus yj. The second way of writing using column form, similar to translation. Now, in vector, we use modulus to indicate magnitude. So, modulus i means magnitude of vector i equals to magnitude of vector j equals to 1. Remember, unit vector, a unit vector is a vector with magnitude 1 unit. Let's say now we have a vector starting from the origin. Okay, going to the right, one unit, therefore it is written as i vector plus another 2i, total is 3i. Now, since the vector is going to the right, therefore it is written as 3i. If you are going to the left, then it is written as negative 3i. Go up one unit, therefore it is j vector. If you are going down, then it is negative j. Plus another one more j, so total to j. Therefore, the resultant vector from point O to point P can be written as OP equals to 3i plus 2j. Now, or using the column form 3, 2. Now remember, vector OP here is known as position vector. So what is position vector? A vector that originates from the origin. It have to be from the origin. O to P or O to point Q. So it is known, it is labeled as OQ. And at the same time, it is the position vector for coordinate Q, for example. Now, when you have the vector OP, from vector OP, you can find point or coordinate P. So, based on the vector 3i plus 2j, so coordinate P is 3 the magnitude of vector P in order to find the magnitude of vector P you use Pythagoras theorem 3 square plus 2 square square root so total with the total so it is square root of 13 so the magnitude of vector OP is square root of 13 Okay, example, given diagram 
Express OA, OB and AB in the form XI plus YJ. Express OA, OB and AB in the form XI plus YJ. Now remember, vector OA is a position vector for point A. Now, so starting from the origin, we go 5 unit to the right. Therefore, it is written 5i, positive 5i. Then go up one unit. So, J vector. So, one unit J vector. Positive J. Therefore, the resultant vector for OA can be written as OA equals to 5I plus J. You can also use the coordinate A. That is 5, 1 to write the position vector for point A. Now, let's see how to find the position vector for B, that is vector OB. So, first find coordinate B. Coordinate B here is negative 2, 5. Therefore, vector OB can be written as negative 2i plus 5j just based on the point B. Remember, if the vector is a position vector that means it originates from the origin then you can just use the coordinate to write the position vector the third one is finding vector a b vector a b is not a position vector because it doesn't start from the origin so here you need to form equation so a b equals to AO plus OB. Now we have OA that is 5I plus J. So if AO, AO equals to negative OA. So AO equals to negative 5I minus J then plus OB that is negative 2I plus 5J equals to negative 7i plus 4j. Now the question is express the answer in the form xi plus yj. So you need to use i and j vector to present the answer. Okay, if it is not given anything, then you can also use column form. So column form in order to find vector ab just change the vector AO and OB to column form and U plus in order to get the resultant vector AB. Example 2 shows two points P and Q. Express the vectors OP, OQ and PQ in the form xy column form okay first find op op is a position vector for point p since we have coordinate p we can straight away write the position vector for p that is vector op so op equals to negative 5 3 since the question asks you to express in column form. Next, find OQ. OQ is also a position vector, a position vector for point Q. So point Q here is negative 2, 0. Therefore, the vector OQ can be written as negative 2, 0. Third, find the resultant vector PQ. PQ is not a position vector. Remember, position vector must start from the origin. So, in order to find vector PQ from the equation, it is PO plus O 
Q. PO equals to negative OP. So change the sign of vector OP. Therefore we have 5 negative 3 plus OQ negative 2 0. And simplify to find the answer. Okay, finding the magnitude for a vector. Okay, let's say vector OA. Okay, in order to find the magnitude of vector OA, we can use Pythagoras theorem. Okay, I hope you still remember modulus indicates magnitude. So, magnitude of vector OA equals to square root of x square plus y square that is using the Pythagoras theorem okay unit vector okay if you still remember a unit vector is a vector with magnitude one unit so in order to find unit vector of vector a okay if vector a is xi plus yj then the unit vector of A can be written as xi plus yj over the magnitude of vector A. That is square root of x square plus y square. For example, let's say I have a vector OA where OA equals to 3i plus 4j and the magnitude of OA equals to 5 unit. Okay, you can use the Pythagoras theorem to calculate the magnitude of vector OA. Okay, the unit vector of OA equals to 3i plus 4j over the magnitude of OA that is 5 unit. Now remember a unit vector is a vector with magnitude 1 unit. Therefore, you take the vector OA divide with the magnitude of vector OA. So, it can be written as 3i plus 4j over 5 or 1 over 5 in bracket 3i plus 4j. Example 4. Given a vector A, 6i minus 8j, find the magnitude. Second question, find the unit vector in the direction of A. Now look at the solution. So in order to find the magnitude, we may use Pythagoras theorem. So the magnitude of vector A, we are using modulus to indicate magnitude. So magnitude of vector A equals to square root of 6 square plus negative 8 square. Simplify. Equals to 10 units. Next, find the unit vector in the direction of vector A. Remember, unit vector is a vector with magnitude 1 unit. Therefore, you need, you need to take vector A. That is 6i minus 8j divide with the magnitude 10 units. So you can simplify it as 1 over 5, 3i minus 4j. Next example, given vector a equals to 6, 3. Now if you still remember, this is column form. And vector b equals to 3, 7. First find B minus A and followed by magnitude of vector B minus A. So let's see how to solve. So B minus A substitute vector B minus vector A. So 3, 7 minus 6, 3 equals to negative 3, 4. Next, find the magnitude using Pythagoras theorem. So, square root of uh, in bracket negative 3 square plus 4 square 
equals to 5 the final answer next question b find the unit vector in the direction of b minus a unit vector so you need to take vector b minus a then divide with the magnitude of this vector that is 5 okay so your final answer will be negative 3 over 5 4 over 5 Thanks for watching. For more videos, please do subscribe.